Right, so where are we going then, lads? Where are you off to tonight, love? Central Birmingham. OK, honey. People all over the UK take a ride with Uber every week. Run practice. In this series, we meet some of those riders and drivers as they go about their lives in transit. I'm like a, an agony aunt in the car. <laughs> in cities across the country, we join them on their journeys as they share their stories with us and with each other. We just clicked, it all went really well, fantastic. Oh, man. For me, Birmingham is a great place to live. And I personally, I love it. On that first, they get in and, you know, you greet, you say, hello, you know, hi, and sometimes people don't want to talk, and that's obvious. They just drive on and get them there safely. But there is a spark with, lo with lots of the people that you pick up. <laughs> Across town in Ladywood, ex-lorry driver Michael and friend Simon are off to a competition. So where are we off to then, lads? Here come. Beard comp. Beard competition. Preening and pruning, ready to roll. <laughs> I'm a competitive beardsman. I'm the reigning British and world mutton chops champion. Uh, the best analogy that I can use is it's like crufts for guys with beards. Have you always had a beard since you've been able to grow one? Or... What started me off with, with growing a beard, uh, I had a, a really serious, serious accident. Did you have any car accident or...? Hit and run. Oh, my Hit and word. run, yeah. Prior to that, I was a bit of a gym bunny. I was at the gym four or five times a week. I was competing in amateur bodybuilding competitions and, obviously, that all just finished. Oh, I was broken. I vegetated for 18 months. And obviously, uh, from the body that I used to have, I just grew. I got fatter and fatter and fatter. And I just happened across a programme on the TV called Whisker Wars. And I thought, you know what? Even if I'm in a wheelchair forever now, I can still grow a beard. I can do this. And that's it. I, yeah. That's where it started. It was brilliant. It, it, it gave my life back to me. It's made me a stronger person. It's made me... It's made me a better person, I think, to be honest with you. Yeah. If I'd got a time machine and I could go back in time and not have the accident and carry on as I was doing, I'd pull the plug on the time machine. I wouldn't change anything. In Bourneville Village, it's date night for 18-year-old Terry and 16-year-old Jensen. Well, I'm sure I've had you before. I don't know. You took us to the train station, me and his mum. Oh, my God, yes! Can you believe oh, what a coincidence is that? that is that? <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> you, were, you were on uh, almost five stars. I couldn't yes. believe it. And you know what? I went back up to five yeah, and you... then back down to 4.99. No way. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boyfriend, Jensen. Oh, how are you, honey? All right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You two look so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Do you get on really well, you know? Are you quite secure with each other or...? Every relationship's going to have like, their little yeah. arguments. That's what keeps a relationship together. You sometimes together. get jealousy yeah, when you know someone else fancies you Don't even tell me yeah. about it. Yeah. The amount of people that message him... That messages me. <laughs> it frustrates the life out of me. I feel like I'm a paranoid person as it is. I'm working on the jealousy and working on the paranoia. And he's just as paranoid and jealous as I am. So sometimes we have tiffs, like stupid little tiffs, and... That means we care, because if I didn't, I wouldn't talk about those things. Been through a bit of a rocky situation recently. Yeah. And, and what was that, just...? He uh, told me that he was going to a girl's house and he actually went to a guy's house. Obviously, there was a lot of trust lost there. Uh, but since then, things have progressed. It's gone really, really well. And we're learning on trusting each other more. We're over that now, I think. Well, we are over it. And... It's getting better. And stronger. It would take time, obviously, for you gain your trust. I didn't know what his reaction would have been at all, it, and it worried me and scared me. Mm -hmm. But I'm happy with how everything's turned out, and I love you. <laughs> Aww.